One day, five centuries ago, Henry VIII's fifth wife, Catherine Howard, came running along this corridor, pleading for her life. It was no use. She was still beheaded for adultery. Many have since claimed to have seen her ghost, a woman in white, screaming. Nobody took it very seriously until a couple of visitors reportedly fainted on the alleged spot. So, let's call in the experts, said Hampton Court, and this is where they found them, scholars of the paranormal at the University of Hertfordshire. They've been commissioned to start answering the big question once and for all. <laughs> is there a ghost of Catherine Howard or not? We'll be setting up uh, all sorts of equipment, video equipment, thermal imaging equipment, sensors that look at humidity and pressure, and monitoring uh, the areas where the ghost has been reported to see whether there's any anomalies, anything unusual, anything strange going on there. The fact that it's called the Haunted Gallery does rather suggest that generations of people have believed in the ghost. Hundreds of thousands of tourists would be disappointed if the belief was shattered. But romantics should be warned, Dr. Wiseman is a no-nonsense fellow. I'm fairly sceptical about ghosts. I suspect that we'll find out that people do report odd sensations, but it's more psychological than, than paranormal, and that at best there may be some weird physical activity going on there, such as uh, changes in pressure or temperature, but there are normal explanations for them. And even at Hampton Court, there's a degree of doubt. What I will say, though, is she didn't actually make an appearance until the 1870s. So you do wonder why it took her 350 years to show herself. So it's more than likely just a Victorian romantic myth. The ghost team will start work at Hampton Court later in the month, but even if they find no evidence of a ghost, many people will no doubt continue to believe that the haunted gallery is still exactly that. <laughs>